I'll make this really quick. I work for this company. I'm in their office. I'm trying to save money, so I am sleeping in the office right there. Uh, it's gonna be an adventure. Oh, yeah. Hey future kids and present peeps, it's Jonathan. Uh, please subscribe and give this a like because after this story, I don't know if I'll ever be hired by another company ever again. Well, maybe I don't want to. Maybe I just want to do YouTube forever. Who knows? Anyway. Back in January of 2018, I was working at a company in San Francisco for more than a year. Basically, I took care of all their Facebook video ads and the partnerships with YouTubers and other influencers like that. It was fun. I got to travel. They brought me to different places. I learned a lot. And without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. However, really bad at negotiating or something because they weren't paying me that high. And San Francisco is a very expensive city. So because of my salary, I did not live in San Francisco. The company that I was working for is in the marina. Me though, the guy that's always broke, for me to live, I lived in Daly City. Really cheap rent. I don't know what the hell happened, but I came back from work one day and all my stuff in my room was in the living room. I'm like, what the f*** is going on here? And I go to my landlord, who's also my friend, I'm like, yo, why is all my stuff in the living room? And he says, I need to quadruple your rent. Like, fuck, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? There's no way I can pay $2,000 a month. I thought to myself, okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then I realized something. I go to the office, because I have a key code, from Sunday to Saturday, every single day. I am alone, doing video, so you have to create the idea, you have to film the idea, then you have to edit. That takes, that's a whole process, and it's just me by myself, so that's why I'm there all the time. And so I thought, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, Jonathan. I'm just gonna take all my stuff and I'm gonna sleep in the office for a couple days. I get to the office, sleep there for two days. Two days turn into seven days. Seven days into 14, pretty soon I'm there for a whole month. I'm like, oh my God, you know what? I'm just gonna live here then. It's perfect. If you're curious about where I keep all my stuff, this is the chair I step on. And then, oh, there's my sleeping bag. So this is where I hide. My electronic toothbrush. You're like, Jonathan, how do you eat? Well, in the freezer here, I have a bunch of, I went to Trader Joe's, and I have a bunch of frozen food here. So we have food taken care of, yay! Uh... I've decided to no longer sleep over there. And the reason why is because, see that, that window right there? So I moved right here. Oh, it's dark. And I can close this door, and there's a lock on it. If anybody comes in, I have a chance. I'm watching The Office and this scene comes on. <laughs> That's me. That's me right now. <laughs> get it? Because I'm living in The Office. Uh, I need to get my life together. I started to brag to my friends. I'm like, hey, guess what, guys? John is living at the office, I'm homeless, people are laughing, this is great. And then one day, I meet a group of new people. One of those new individuals, his name is Chris. And while we're talking, he says, Yo, I would love to see how this is all set up. I'm really curious, how'd you do this? And I'm like, okay, let's go. All right, so here's the thing. Go right here. You have no idea how much admiration and respect I have for you. <laughs> <laughs> His bag's dope. This guy's dope. What do you do with the blanket and pillow? The ground is dirty. Boom. Wow. I sleep. And then, of course, in my gym bag, I have an eye mask and earplugs. This is incredible. That's it. High five. <laughs> oh, and watch the best part. I'm, I'm just speechless. This is the best part. And then from the inside, and I can lock it. So just in case anybody comes in there and they try to open, I know exactly what to do. Okay. <laughs> and this is now locked. Wow. No, no, this is locked. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's okay. Because it's locked. <laughs> I knew something bad was gonna happen. Damn it, why is this locked? Are you serious? It's locked? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If they open that door, they're gonna f***ing see. <laughs> okay, well luckily, I know how to lockpick. You do? I do. Let me see if I can get something. That's right, I locked myself out of the room. And that's a very big thing, and the reason why that's a very big thing is because if the next morning, people get in that door and they see all my sleeping bags and everything there, guess what? Boom, I'm fired. We're watching YouTube videos now. About how to uh, 
And then we go to the other offices. We grab rulers and pencils and paper clips. What's the percentage that this is gonna work? Well, seeing how I've never done this before and I've seen this maybe on like a rush hour, I'd give it a 5% chance it's gonna work. <laughs> How did this lock? And after two hours, it's not opening. And then Chris gets this bright idea. He's like, yo, Jonathan. I'm like, what, Chris? What's going on? And he's like, I have a lock pick set at my home in Millbrae. I'm like, okay, let's do it. So we drive and we pick up one of my other friends and we tell him the story. His name is Ben. Ben, after you watch the footage of this whole situation, what do you think? Well, one, you guys are idiots. <laughs> Why am I an idiot? I, it wasn't, I didn't do anything. It's my fault. I'm so you sorry. You correct the supervision. <laughs> but two, this is a stupid easy lock. You should be able to open this. I'm sure we're trying. And then we get to Chris's house and we search and unload his house for like an hour. Hey, so we couldn't find it in this place, but guess what? It's at a friend's place, so... And it, his friend lives in Japantown, so... Off to Japantown! Off to Japantown! Let's go! Guys, we got so lucky. This is... Hey! We're in Japantown, and he just gave us the lock. We're gonna be okay, hopefully, friend. Get to the office. He takes out his lockpick set. One of these should work. One of them, right? like 10 minutes and then we're taking the hammer. Boom, it's not working. And I could see in Chris's face the sadness and the tears like, like what am I doing? Why am I helping this broke ass kid? So feeling sad, a little depleted, I start packing everything. And I go, yo Chris, I think you can just you know, go home, don't worry, I'll take care of it. When people arrive, I'll just tell them the truth. They like, really Jonathan? I'm like, yeah, I have to. Like, this is like a humbling experience, you know? This is, I think this is what I deserve. So I get on my laptop and as I'm going, all of a sudden, I hear Chris go, come on, one more time! And then suddenly, Chris takes his hand and touches my shoulder. And he goes, Jonathan, I'm so sorry. And I turn around, the door was open. The door was open! Yes! <laughs> yes! I won't get fired anymore. And then, uh, we messaged Ben. <laughs> you told me it was easy. <laughs> it was not easy. And on top of that, look. We had to destroy the <laughs> door, Ben. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> look at all our tools. <laughs> Special knives, scissors, things. <laughs> what the <laughs> is this? What the <laughs> is this, Ben? This is what I want you to take away from the video, basically. If there's a lesson here, the lesson is hide your ego, put it aside, humble yourself, and know that if you just push through it, you'll make it. And also, let me know um, if you like this whole story commentary type thing. I, I think I'll be new doing more of these videos, especially by the fact that I have work and I'm creating a new channel. Oh yes, I'm creating a new channel. Here is a preview of the new channel that I'm working on. Are you excited for this? Yes. Yes, you look great, by the way. Thank you. I you love the great. shoes and Thank the hat you. and the jacket. Love it. Thanks. Yes, this is gonna be great. Okay. All right, cool. There's the link. It looks really fun. I'm trying something out, uh, but for sustainability-wise, I think stories and commentary videos are really fun. I love vlogs, but I just can't do it. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. Can't wait. I can't wait to tell you more stuff. I'm excited to be continued. Do I just... Okay. <laughs>